All right, this is a big wild card weekend. We've got the Bills and the Texans. Texans, two and a half point favorites. We got the Titans in New England to face the, face the Patriots, five and a half point uh, Patriots favorite. Uh, Saints, seven and a half points over the Vikings. That's in New Orleans. And then the final game on Sunday, the Seahawks, a point and a half favorite in Philadelphia against the Eagles. Is there one game that you feel best about? No. I guess there's one I feel best about. But I still don't feel great. Like, when I'm sitting there going 3-2-1-1-1, it could have gone any way. I mean, there, there was one that was definitely just a one-pointer. But the other ones, it was a flip of the coin. Who gets a three-point pick? Wow, who gets the, a two? And the Patriots are going up. The number's going up. Yeah, it's going up. I think, that, I think that's the, the, the smart bet right now. Everybody says, well, the Titans and, you know, Tannehill had such a great season. But when you're betting against the Patriots, you're betting against history. Well, are the, they no, done? And they're, people, people are betting um, with history. They're betting that Tom Brady's not going out like that in potentially his last playoff game in New England, blah, blah, blah. And also, they're betting on the fact that a, a team with no real playoff experience is just going to get handled in a wild card game. They don't believe in Ryan Tannehill. But the problem is, Don, I believe in Derrick Henry. Yeah. That's the part. And, and that's but, a problem they have. New England is a problem stopping the run. Now Derrick you, Henry's a beast. Now, you could mention that I just can't see Tennessee beating New England, and that's fair. But again, with the five and a half, New England can win the game and not cover. Right. Like, I can totally see New England winning this game on a last-second field goal or winning by three, four points where they're not impressive, like, all year long, right? Where, ah, they could have lost the game, but you know what? Belichick, just the superior, didn't allow his team to lose. Tom Brady didn't allow his teams to lose. All that could be fair, and all that could be true, but then not cover the five and a half. It, it's such a tough, this, this is a tough game for me because the Patriots had a win last week and they would not be playing this week and they couldn't beat the Dolphins. I mean, that, that's, it's inexcusable. So they have not had a wild card game since 2009. They lost that. They're two and one in wild card games with Belichick and Brady. Uh, it, it's a tough call because I don't believe that this is the end of the New England mm. dynasty. I don't believe that Brady is shot. Do I believe that he's at the top of his game? No, but I don't believe he's a shot player. It's a very, and, and this is all new for Tannehill. Tell and you this what, is all pretty much new for the uh, for the Tennessee Titans. I'll tell you what, though. How, have you, you guys have watched the Patriots a good amount recently, right? Yes. Have you ever seen, I mean, how shocking it looks to see Brady in the red zone? He can't find anyone in the red zone. He's throwing he, out of the, great, he doesn't have great skill position he, players. He's throwing out of the back of the end zone play after play. But, Michael, he was never loaded with skill position players. But, and you know, he I'm, I'm Gronk. watching him just throw Gronk's out of the end zone. a big deal. He is. He is a big deal. It, it was always someone else. And, by the way, horrible on television. But uh, he always yeah, had... Yeah, you made that point. You yeah, and Steve Harvey. I'm going to back off. I'm going to back off it at this point. Um, but I, I just... I don't know, man. It's, it, there is something different. And maybe they break out of it tomorrow. And maybe we see the cracks and the inexperience in Tennessee. But it's, it's hard for me to get really confident in this Patriots team. Yeah, 